what is going on everybody my name is pete and you guys are watching paid to drive and pay to drive vlogs day number 1560 coming at you once again with another brand new video hope you're all doing fantastic out there ladies and gentlemen if you drive for apps like grubhub doordash uber eats or any of the others you my friends are in the right place to stay up to date with what's going on in the gig economy so get started right now for free Hit that red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always up to date whenever I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind it, hit that like button down below. It just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. In fact, leave a comment saying liked, L-I-K-E-D, just so I know you did it. And let's jump into the email, Triple Lindy, Thornton Mellon style. Here we go. Here we go. That's a UFC reference. All right. So... Uh, this here comes from David, and he says, Hey Pete, David here. I'm a DoorDash and Grubhub driver, now Seamless, I guess. Seamless and Grubhub uh, merged, I believe, in 2016 or 2017, so keep that in mind. And I'm glad that he's multi-apping. I wanted to share a funny story that's been echoing a lot of recent stories on your vlog. Uh, thanks for posting about my last gripe on playing the DoorDash video game while driving. Not a problem. Anyway, here is the story that happened a few weeks ago. I get near the customer's location in a dark suburban rural town and realized I had passed the house. I turned into a nearby church parking lot and made a U-turn back to the customer's house. As I was making the U-turn, the customer called me. I see that you're at the church. You just passed by my house. It's after the sign. Since the customer interrupted the GPS, I went by his verbal instructions. I left the church and passed another building in the church area and pulled up to the house. Okay, okay, I see you there. Great. That was what the customer said. I got out of the car and proceeded to the house, rang the doorbell, and a lady came to the door, grabbed the food, and said thank you. She then shut the door and went back inside the house. Delivery complete, right? No. I get back to the car and the customer who was a man rang my phone again. He said, you missed me, man. You're at the next house. We're in the house past the sign. But what sign is he talking about? And he goes, uh-oh, I told the customer what happened and that I would call him back. Went back to the house and knocked on the door. I told them that the delivery was for their neighbor. A man came to the door and handed me one small styrofoam box out of the six styrofoam plates I handed to them. They, they had messed all over the food and some of the food was eaten. In addition, they weren't hurrying to give me the rest of the food back. Oh, that's gross. I then decided while waiting that this was a sanitary issue and if they were that desperate for food, they could have it. I went back to the car and explained to the customer what happened and he asked if I could get the food back from them. I told him that they had already messed all into it and to just get a refund from Grubhub for it. I then called Grubhub and explained what happened, that it was the wrong house and the people had messed in the food, creating a sanitary issue. They canceled the order. Funny thing, I still got paid for it because I had hit del delivered. It was a decent order with a good tip. Grubhub never penalized me for it either, I think. Thanks for listening, sharing, and providing good content, David. Now, let me tell you something, David. <clears throat> I had a similar situation happen to me on Grubhub in 2019 where I delivered to the wrong apartment building. The addresses were so similar. And I think it was off by like a number. And I was rushing and I delivered to an apartment. And when the guy answered the door, he looked all confused but he still took the food because I, it was a woman's name. A guy answered the door and I was like, hi, is, uh, is, I don't remember what her name was. Uh, let's just say is Kathleen here. I don't know. I'm just saying a random name. And he was like, yeah, she's inside. And I was like, oh, well she ordered, uh, from Grubhub and he was like, oh, all right. And he just took the food and closed the door. And then I hit delivered and I'm on to my next order. And then the customers contacted me like, hey, uh, did you get here yet? And I was all confused. I had to contact the customer. I said, oh my God, I made a mistake. I'm so sorry. Uh, you know, let me contact Grubhub for you to get the order situated. And they got a refund. Now getting a refund is great, but it sucks for the customer because they're probably really hungry. And now they got to wait another 30 to 40 minutes for food. So 
we got to be very careful when we, you know, are delivering. I know sometimes it's hard to find the right house or the right apartment or office or whatever, but you have to be as careful as possible. And David, I think he handled the situation great. So drivers and dashers, how do you think David handled the situation? Let me know down below. And of course, if you guys ever have anything you wanna share with me, a comment, a topic, a question, a story, an article, whatever you have, send me an email, paid to drive stories at gmail.com. It's the best way to reach me. Uh, information is in the description down below. Just click show more. Or for a quicker response, you guys can always message me through Patreon at patreon.com forward slash paid to drive that link is in the description down below or the pin top comment just scroll down um, and anyone who signs up as a patron as my way of saying thank you is I give you guys shout outs in all my new videos which I am going to do right now so got to add someone to the list here that just signed up uh, here we go yeah, I'll put it right there boom Okay, so big shout outs to Ron Grubb, our tier five driver, John Birchfield, David Moore, Angela Counts McCarty, Steel United 111, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Medina, Heidi Barnes, Jimmy Santiago, Joe Valerio, Kurt Paul, Laura Love, Tulsa Todd, Agus, April Juip, Juip, I, I, I don't know how to pronounce that, so April, thank you. Uh, Alan G. Van Horn, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Haviland, Fresh One, Jason Kasten, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Tom Perry, Chadrick Howell, Brian Richardson, Candace Mitchell, Jenny Thomas, Joyce Hine, LaDonna Roten, Matt Epperson, Nick G., Stacey Miller, Terrence Pacheco, Valerie Brown, and Rebecca Swenson. So, huge shout outs to all of you. If you want to sign up, links are in the description of the pin top comment. Who's going to be the next patron? Maybe it'll be you. Let's find out. And with that being said, my friends, uh, I hope you're all saving lots of money on your gas with the free gas app called Get Upside. That link, of course, is in the description of the pin top comment. Look to where it says Get the Free Gas App. Click on there. It'll tell you how to install it on whatever kind of phone, tablet, or device you have. And then from there, what you got to do is you go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside gas app. And within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Links in the description. Make sure to download it today. And of course, if you guys want one of these awesome triple lindy thornton melon style t-shirts you can get your own at paytodrivestore.com that's right check out the link in the description of the pin top comment we've got lots of brand new designs colors sizes you name it we probably have it on sale every day for all your t-shirts hoodies and goodies paytodrivestore.com is the place for you and if you made it to the end of the video thank you so much leave a comment right now saying end 601 end 601 just lets me know you made it to the end of the video don't forget to hit that free red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever i post something new and if you wouldn't mind it hit that like button down below it just lets youtube know that i'm doing a good job in fact leave a comment right now saying liked l-i-k-e-d just so i know you did it and if you haven't yet subscribe to my other channel team ptd where i have more pay to drive content links in the description or the pin top comment or search youtube team ptd and until next time get that money get that honey keep hustling keep bustling and we'll see you next time right here on pay to drive and pay to drive logs and as always drive safe be well and we'll see you on the next one peace everybody later